And those guys are just like going at it, aren't they? There it is. All right, look at this sucker. I'd like to go test this out, but probably not a wise idea to do that at night on Ravenhurst, do you think? Welcome back, everybody, to Seven Days to Die in Ravenhurst. I just killed this zombie, and I got the hunting knife schematic. Uh, not that that really matters a whole lot to us now. I think I, I can actually make hunting knives, uh, so I'll probably turn that in. Uh, but I wanted to bring you guys back uh, for a quick update. Uh, I've been uh, doing a lot of stuff off camera. It's been a couple of days, actually, in-game since the last episode. And so, as you can see, I've got a garden uh, going all the way around the lake uh, over to there. So we got cabbage, carrots... Uh, see wheat, onions. What is this over here? This is tomatoes. Tomatoes, lettuce, strawberries, uh, coffee, aloe, potatoes, pumpkins, corn, and coffee. Um, so yeah, we got the got the farm going, and I'm just waiting for, you know, the next batch to mature here. I'm here doing some fishing, um, because I'm out of food as usual. Um, as we wait, as we wait for the farm to, um, you know, to mature. Uh, but however, most of the produce from that, I'm probably going to turn right back into seeds again. Uh, so anyway, yeah, I'm getting a little food, but I also have a couple other things I want to update you guys on uh, over by the base. And so I think what I'm going to do is I'll come back and do this later. Uh, I have done a little bit of fishing at night, as long as I keep the mini bike close and, you know, there's no mobs nearby. It's not, not a problem. Uh, but before it gets completely dark, uh, like I said, I just want to show you a couple things. So um, since I decided to stay here in this area for a while longer, and um, our horde base has kind of, um, oh, lived out its, its usefulness, I would say, um, I am um, over here now working on a new horde base. So sorry, I'm a little bit scatterbrained right now, so I apologize, but... Uh, basically, what I'm I'm doing here is I'm digging a, a I'm gonna do like a pit uh, type of design here, um, and I haven't fully figured out what's gonna happen here, but I'm gonna be up there, and I might take those blocks out and uh, make them uh, what what are they called? Bars. Yeah, the bars. Sorry, <laughs> my brain is not working. Uh, so I'm in the process of digging this out, and you know this part of the structure should be okay because you know it's it's basically hanging down from up above so i'm not expecting that it will collapse uh, but the thing is is for this design to work properly uh the zombies can't have a pathway to any other part of this structure so it has to you know kind of be in a hanging fashion and so the idea here is going to be that we're going to have um like a ramp going up there and then i'm going to put down either a trap doors or an actual door uh, with some quarter blocks so that I can start meleeing the zombies. And if I feel like I get overwhelmed, I'm going to pull the door. And then they'll. F this is going to eventually go all the way down to bedrock. Uh, and I'll have a pathway. I've already actually dug the pathway. Um, yeah, we got to be careful. Uh, but anyway, this, this tunnel uh, goes down and wraps shit um, all the way around. And um, it will... Uh, all right, we're gonna have to deal with you. All right, that probably called some other Zeke, so we gotta we gotta get the hell out of here. Yeah. Oh shit! Look how fast that guy is. <laughs> yeah. So anyway, um, yeah. So I'm working on that. Uh, I have a lot more digging to do, but the digging is actually um, beneficial because I'm you know I'm I'm getting both XP, but I'm also getting a lot of material. And one thing I really appreciate about Ravenhurst is that, you know, you get a little bit of everything when you're digging in stone. And so, you know, that adds up over time. So, uh, case in point, oh, oh, the other thing I was going to show you is I redid all my, my storage too. So everybody's, or everything rather, is in the, the full size supply crates and labeled and nice and neat. I don't, I'm not, I don't even have anything in these backpacks anymore at all. Uh, at least not for the moment. Uh, so this is armor and miscellaneous. This is medical. This is food, this is vendor, weapons, ammunition and explosives, tools and parts, and raw resources. So as you can see, I've got stacks, several stacks of coal, several stacks of lead, um, 
uh, over almost three full stacks of nitrate. And most importantly, I've got a decent amount of limestone, um, you know, from doing all this and a bunch of iron too. And I've already even smelted a lot of the iron. So, you know, we're getting good XP, we're building a new horde base, and I'm getting a decent amount of materials from doing all this, so it's actually quite, you know, worthwhile to do. Uh, I haven't even looked to see where my um, mining skill is. Let's look at that. So, yeah, we're, we're at 38 mining tools, guys, so we're almost to 40. And, you know, once we get to 40, we could, we could do this, but the thing is, is I can already make the iron pick, and I have, you know, an iron shovel that I've looted and I'll probably find more loot. So I don't think I'll spend a point on that, but at least not right away. And uh, then I've got gobs of stone in here, gobs of clay in here, and this is just overflow because we'll probably get even more stone. Um, the other thing is, is when I, you know, when I redid that, uh, the house over there, uh, you know, when we, we did the quest there, we reset the place. I never went in uh, the second time and looted the kitchen. So I was in there doing that as I was starting to get it ready for a horde base. And look what I found, man. I found myself a hobo stew recipe. And I wanted to wait and show that to you guys on camera before I actually um, used it. So there you go. Now now I can actually make hobo stew, which is going to be really helpful, you know, food-wise, especially once we get that garden going. So let's see. I, I had uh, I got another point, uh, at least one more. And I put, put it in, uh, where did I put it? In strength, I put it in mother load. Uh, so I put, you know, because I'm doing all this mining, so it makes sense for me to, you know, uh, put stuff into here. And I might even put the next point into level three too, just because, you know, we get that much more resources. And I think, oh, and I also put a point in uh, perception also. Um, so if I wear the perception glasses, you know, then we can get uh, demolitions expert too, which will let us make. Uh, dynamite. Well, more importantly, it'll it'll just increase our damage, and I'll also be able to get lucky looter level two when that time comes as well. So we're doing pretty good uh, in terms of XP. Okay, so uh, what I'm basically going to do now is I'm just going to go back down to the lake, and I'm going to uh, keep fishing because uh, I got I had over a hundred worms, you know, from all the digging and stuff that that I've been doing. Uh, but I'm going to use up the rest of these worms and get, you know, myself another batch of fish here. Uh, but we might as well cook up the ones that we currently have. So let's do that now. And I think this, uh, I'm just going to sell that to the trader because there's there's not really any point in me um, learning it because I already know how to do it. In fact, let's look at our bladed skill too. And let's look at our quest. So... I have killed 107 zombies with the machete. So we're getting close to finishing out this quest. And then we're going to get the katana um, and the kur uh, kukri. I guess that's how you pronounce that a schematic and finish out that, that quest. So that's going to be really cool uh, when we're done with that. Okay. And so I'm just trying to think, is there something else I need to up? Oh, yeah. I was going to show you. Uh, here's where we are on bladed weapons. So we're at 35 uh, right now so we're getting you know we're getting better at it definitely getting better at it and i think that's about all i have right now to update you guys on um i am going to get started though uh making concrete and and i wanted to just kind of show you the quantity you know that i've i've gotten uh, so far before i did it so let's see we're gonna need, oh you know what we're gonna need murky though i don't think do i have any murky yeah i do have some, i have some murky there okay so I'm going to need to start making more cement. Um, yeah, the cement is what we actually ran out of now. Uh, so I'm going to I'm going to have to start cooking up some stone, which we can do because, my goodness, we've got plenty of it. So let's just get three stacks going in here. Might even think about getting a second forge going, uh, you know, fairly soon. Uh, but for now, I, I don't really need to be smelting anything else, so we'll just do this. Okay, so it looks like it's going to take about 20 minutes of burn, so let's make sure there's plenty of fuel in there for that. All right, very good. All right, guys, well, I'm going to go ahead and let you go here, and I'm going to go finish finish up fishing and then just kind of keep working on the, the horde base, um, and I'll bring you back at some point with an update on where we are. Okay, see you in a bit.
All right, guys, I'm back with an update. And as you can see, I'm over here at Trader Hughes. And look what he finally has in his inventory. He has got some bullet tips. Oh my gosh, I've been waiting for these forever. Um, do we have to buy these in tin? Yeah, we do. Okay, not a problem. Uh, this I, I have not found these ever in loot, and I've been checking the traders, and this is the first time I've noticed the traders have had them. I, it's possible that they've had them before, and I missed them, but uh, yeah. Whew. All right, that's really good. Um, so he's also got a blue double barrel, and he's got a fairly high yellow pump. But my goodness, that's expensive. I mean, we have enough coin. We could buy it. Oh, I would sure like to have a pump shotgun. That does 15 damage per pellets. Um, this does. This one does one more, but, you know, that's a pump. I don't know. That just seems exorbitant for a yellow pump shotgun. <laughs> it really seems so expensive. I don't know, man. Um, yeah, I'm not really sure. I mean, this, would, this wouldn't be or, or would be a good addition to our you know our repertoire but i don't know i don't know he's got a marksman rifle an orange one for five thousand and a green tactical for eleven nine thirty six see now that we could also yeah you know what this would be nice to have but we don't really need it we've got a, a pretty decent ak right now so I mean, he, you know, he's got this AK too. And then he's also got, uh, in his secret stash, he's got a couple of green pistols. Because our pistol's, you know, pretty crappy. So, hmm, it's, that shot, that pump shotgun is very, is tempting. I, I think it's way overpriced. <laughs> I think it's massively overpriced, but it is tempting, man. I'm not going to lie, it's, it's tempting. Do you have a beaker or... An air filter. We're looking for that too for our quest. I'm not seeing it. Okay. Well, if we bought the pump shotgun, I, I have yet to repair these. The durability on these things is crazy. Of course, I don't, you know, I, I use them somewhat sparingly. So we would get at least two repairs, maybe even three repairs out of this. You know, before uh, before it would wear out. And, you know, now that we're into Tier 2 questing, you know, the money's going to start coming in a little bit better. Uh, what the hell? You only live once, right? You only live once. All right, we got ourselves a pump shotgun. Yeah, fantastic. So how that would cost us 748 We don't even have enough money to buy those shells, but that's okay. I don't want to do that anyway. Uh, we're still somewhat limited in being able to make um well you know what mm, i don't think we need a mold for buckshot so we could actually be start making our own shotgun shells now that i think about it you know now that we've got gunpowder of course i spent Time to move on. shut up i spent all my gunpowder on um on pipe bombs you know in, in preparation for the horde night but anyway okay so let's see this clear is to the west uh i don't want to go West, southeast is in our town, um, and east is across the way. Yeah, let's Did take agree to let's take me. this one. Well, I'm yeah, some zombies got in here and thumped on him pretty good. Okay, well, hey, look at this, guys. Pump shotgun. What do you know? What do you know? Okay, I'm going to put this on here. You know, we haven't really run into um I'm trying to think if I have a choke mod or not. I don't think I do. Now uh, we haven't really run into Oh, actually, hold on a sec. Uh I was gonna say ferals, but that's put on there more for damage. But you know what? I'd rather do this because Oh, never mind. It's not gonna let me. Alright, yeah, so we'll just keep this on here. Excellent. Alright, look at that guys. Pump shotgun. Awesome. So I'm probably gonna, I'm probably gonna re retire the uh, the two double barrels just for inventory space, and um, you know just start using this one. Now, um, here let's get away from these guys for a second. 
I'm very, very close to finishing the bladed quest. Uh, let's take a look and see where we're at with that. Uh, yeah, so, well, I guess I still we still need to get a few more kills in. So let's see if, uh, while I have you on a camera, let's see if we can do that. And then we can get a katana. I vaguely remember using a katana in seven days, but I don't remember enough about it to remember exactly how good it is, how well it works, and that sort of thing. I'm assuming it's going to be pretty good. If nothing else, it should have some really kick-ass bleed, I would think, you know. Oh, one other thing, too, I, I noticed. I had mentioned a couple episodes ago that I could make these guys bleed with a normal attack. But I don't think the bleed is as severe. So you see, he, he is bleeding if you look at his health bar, but it's not going down super fast. Now now watch it when I do a power attack. See how much faster it goes down? So, yeah. So we're back to doing power attacks. The one nice thing about the these attacks, though, I mean, I can do them pretty quickly and just take them out, on you know, with the actual damage and not so much worry about the bleed. But the downside to that is durability on the weapon, you know. So, okay, let's see if we can uh, finish off the rest of these Zeeks and, and get this bladed quest done. Okay, final kill. Whoop. Come on, big mama. Over here. Where the hell are you going? And we did it. Hot damn. Okay, look at that. A katana schematic. And the uh, kukri schematic. Okay, let's take a look and see what we need to make these things. 20 steel, and we can make it green. Yeah, I, I can. I got all that stuff right now. Um, what's it tell us about this? Regular attacks cause one bleeding wound and power attacks at least two. Great for slashing zombies and gutting animals. Nice, okay. And then this kukri thing. Um... Okay, regular attacks can cause bleeding wounds. Power attacks always do. Great for chopping some of the trees. Yeah, okay. I don't know. Uh, I'm, I'm, my guess is the katana is probably more powerful than this is. Uh, what does it take to make it? 25 forged steel. Oh, wow. Is that more expensive than the katana? It is. Ooh, maybe the kukri is better then. I don't know. Well, we'll probably just end up making both of them and uh, at some point anyways. Probably not immediately because steel's not something we have an abundance of. But um, And just kind of see, you know, from there. Uh, since we're in this place, we might as well loot it, right? A little cornmeal action. I'm not 100% positive, but there might be dogs in this place. Oh, you know what, too? I want to make a scope for my crossbows, and I need glass. So uh, we should get some glass going here. Okay, we got a destroyed workbench. Cruiser chassis. Ooh. Oh, man. 
man. S okay. Nice. Nice, nice, nice. Wheels, engine. So, if, yeah, if we can eventually come across these, man, we got our motorcycle. Fan, freaking tastic. That was a great find. Okay, let's get the glass. And uh, this is where we might run into some dogs. Maybe. Well, maybe not. It's just Baldy. Let's get some bleeds on him. Uh, we no longer have to exclusively kill with our knife, though. Um, now that we've, you know, c completed the quest. I mean, I'm still going to use it for the bleeds. Because it's just really good for that. But we might start working on, um, you know, maybe sledges. Uh, we got some points into spears. Just because I've been using the pitchfork. Jab. Well, we don't got a ton, though. So, yeah. We don't have a ton of points into that. All right, let's check in here. Some marijuana. Um, I got my luckies on. Okay, I wanted to make sure that I did. Oh shit! <laughs> I guess uh, we're not supposed to go that way. Guess we're not supposed to go that way. It's been a while since I've been in this POI. Actually, I have been in it. It's been a while. All right, let's take a look at that. You know, the light told us we had to go out that way. We'll sell those. Oh, are we supposed to parkour on the thingamadoodles? Okay, yeah, I gotcha. Um, is this just normal uh, wood here? Yeah. We're just going to take the easy way out. Any zombos in here? Yeah, there is. More weed. What the hell's going on in this place, man? Okay, let's rip this off and then we'll get a sneaky sneak crossbow shot on this dude. Right in the noggin. Check the bookcase here. Uh, okay, we'll sell that. I've got some spare stone axes. Yeah, I do. Okay. This one's about ready to break. I'm I'm starting to wonder, you guys, if uh there are if there's no longer any backpack upgrades i have not seen a single one since you know the ravenhurst update even though i didn't do the update myself so i don't know man i've not found one at all that's some pretty nice loot all right let's see if anybody in here Give us something good. That's pretty good. Wait. No, I need to actually loot it. All right. Can we get our crossbow bolt back? Nope. I guess not. Yeah, I mean, I, I was just... That had just occurred to me that I haven't found one at all. I mean, not since the first two or three that we found right when we first started playing. So uh, I'm a little concerned about that because I am so tired of being encumbered all the time you know it's just a royal pain in the ass okay let's get ready for vultures and or dogs well it took me three shots but i got it done <laughs> that was kind of embarrassing all right let's get some bleeds on you guys and then get out of the way so you don't break our legs There they go. 
All right, let's check the fat loots. An auger would be like just absolutely amazing right about now. Nope, but that steel can go towards making our katana. More steel. Okay. I uh, guess that's it, right? Okay, let's grab some more glass. How much do I have now? Four. That's not a whole lot. That's not a whole lot. Um, I guess we could grab this stuff, but you don't really get very much from it. I mean, it's pathetic. That's a whole freaking pallet of concrete. How come I'm not getting very much out of it? Not a fan. Not a fan. There's some some things about Ravenhurst I just thoroughly enjoy. And some things, it's like, why the hell did you do that? <laughs> you know? Um, yeah. So, yeah, and that's one of them, case in point. I guess they just want to make things harder, you know? And I'm, I'm all for that in general. But not if it... Uh, making things harder for simply for the sake of making them harder. Uh, one of those things in this mod being the, um, the fact that you can't store anything in a world container. There's just no sense in that, no reason for it other than to make things hard. So yeah, definitely not a fan of that. Anyway. Uh, okay guys. Well, um, this has kind of been an odd episode. Uh, for me, because I've just recorded kind of here and there, so I'm not sure how far into it we are. Um, so I'll, I think we have a little more time to do some more stuff. I'm just not sure what that stuff is yet, so I'm going to cut the camera here, and then um, I'll bring you back at some point with an update, and we'll go from there. All right, guys, I'm back and uh, decided to stop here at the garden. Uh, so let's harvest all this food and then go home and see what we can make with it. Uh, we will, of course, need to uh, turn some of them back into seeds. And it looks like we're getting uh, seeds back in addition to the produce, which is good. I don't know if we get... Do we get m more seeds? Oh, man, we're, like, super encumbered. Um... So I, I wonder, are we getting more seeds than we planted, or is it the same seeds... But, uh, you know, pr uh, along with Protus, I'm not really sure. All right, we're going to have to... I, I want to get the corn and potatoes in particular because that's what we need for the hobo stew. We're going to be, like, massively encumbered here. Let's get back over to the potatoes. We can barely move. Yeah, I'll have, to, I'll have to come back for this stuff later because I can't hardly move. <laughs> yeah, so let's go home and uh, I want to make the katana. And based upon the description, it sounds like that other shorter sword, the Karuki or whatever it's called, um, isn't as, as powerful, at least not with the bleeds, and it's more expensive to make. So I'm not sure if that's just a a balance thing or if it's meant to be that way or what the deal is with it but anyway um can we jump up here yeah just barely move so i'm going to put a couple things in here for now just to, so we can move here okay so what i'm interested in making right now is Oh, but too. Uh, so we've got some spoiled meat there. We're just going to kind of pretend that that's not what we're doing. <laughs> it's just like so gross, but hey, it is what it is, right? And we need water too. Okay, how many of these can we actually make? Let's get some fuel here. Okay. Oh, for Pete's sake, what are we missing now? Dad, burn it. You've got 
Really? You have to have all of that stuff in there? Holy shit, this better be some damn good stuff. All right, so we need the carrots, potato, uh, carrots, tomatoes, cabbage, and all that other kind of stuff. That's expensive. Onions, cabbage. Uh, I don't think we need would need wheat for something like that, but let's just see. All right, we can make four of these. I don't think I'm going to do that, though. I'm just going to make one because, you know, we need to make new seeds with most of the rest of the stuff. But I, I want to see how good this actually is. I mean, is it better than than vanilla or is it the same or, you know, that sort of thing. So I'm just going to stick all this stuff in here for now. And then and anything that's a seed, I want to take back down and replant it. And I'll do that off camera. Okay, so while we're waiting on that, I have I have 16 things of steel there, but I uh, there's some more down in the bike. Hopefully we have 20, because 20 is what we need to make the katana. Uh, that's That we're going to sell later. We'll put the money in there. Yeah, yeah, I know you're hungry. You're about ready to have hobo stew, so just relax. Oh, shit. That clickety clicking thing, it's like a giant spider insect thing. Where's it at? I I've seen seen it out in the wild, but I haven't actually tried to do anything with it. It sounds like it's coming from over there, but this the sound it makes, it sounds like like a fire popping. But it's it's mixed kind of weird because it it sounds like it's all around. Oh, there it is right there. It's really hard to see. Oh no, that's just a spider. That's not it. This thing looks like a kind of almost like a praying mantis or something, and it's huge. I wonder if it's inside the fence there, and that's why we can't see it. Huh. All right. Well, anyway, um, we are going to have to... Here, let's grab that. We'll keep all this uh, seed in here so we can take it back and replant it. Uh, but we are going to have to use the old horde base one more time because there's no, absolutely no way I'm going to have that place ready um, on time. So um, what I'm going to do is fix it up. Uh, you know, shore it up as best as I can and uh, use explosives and crossbow bolts will be the main thing we're going to use to fight the horde, uh, horde 42. Okay, what am I doing? I need to put that back in there, that back in there, my honey and my those things. Okay. Am I so heavy I can't even get over the ladder? Yeah, pretty much. Okay. Let's put a couple more things in here. Can I move now? There we go. Um, yeah, I'll just leave that stuff in there for the moment. I just want to see if we have enough to make the katana. I think we do. Yeah, I think we do, because I think I had 16 and we have six more, so we needed we needed 20. Yeah, we got it. We got this, man. We got this. Okay, so. Ah, uh, let's see. Let's put a couple things in here. Um, we're going to put the motorcycle chassis in there. Yeah, if we can ever come across the, you know, the other part of that, that's going to be fantastic. The shot, the double-barreled shotguns, I think I'm going to hang on to them for now in case I... Oh, that's the other thing. We can now make the bullet mold. I've been waiting for that for, like, freaking ever. Okay, we got an empty blank mold here. Um, so I think we have to do that over here. Then we can start making bullets, guys. <laughs> Man, freaking tastic. Yeah, I didn't, I never found bullets. Uh, not a single, in any loot, a single time. I had to buy those. 
But now we have them. We got tons of lead, so we're going to be making bullets like you wouldn't believe and buckshot too. I got a pretty good supply of paper um, in here. Uh, so we can, you know, make some shotgun shells for sure with that. Okay, anyway, let's get back to the katana here. Um, oh, and let's get the hobo stoop. Okay, let's look at this stuff. You are expensive as all get out, so you better be... 64 food, 32 health, 20 water, max stamina bonus. Okay, that doesn't look any better than the vanilla, and maybe it's not, I don't know. But, um, okay. Well, I mean, you know, it's expensive. It's got more ingredients, but in, in the long run, that's not going to matter so much because, you know, we're going to, we're going to have a big garden and we'll be able to make all this stuff. So it's all good. All right. Um, can we make an omelet? We can make a fried egg. Crafting. And we're going to have to make a stove for some of this fancier schmancier food though. Uh, but we can do boiled eggs. They're not too bad. You get 10 food per. Just looking. Okay, so we can make sponge cake. I don't, I've don't. i never come across butter. That's probably something we have to make. That's too damned expensive. Plus, I'm not going to go anywhere. Freaky voices, man. Okay, anyway, I'm getting a little sidetracked here. Uh, we don't have enough for bacon and eggs, so let's just put those in there for now and kind of hang on to them uh, for the time being. Okay, so the hobo stew is still getting our food up, so not not bad. Oh, I discovered that I can't make jars. I need what's called a blacksmith's forge. This is just a normal forge. So uh, jars all of a sudden became a lot more precious. I was throwing them out before, and I'm not going to be doing that anymore. Um, okay, so we needed the glass. We needed the glass for a scope, but I think we needed like 15, so I didn't get enough of that. I'll have to work on that some other time. Put that away. This we're gonna sell. Sell, sell, sell. And okay, so we're gonna need leather. Uh, which is in here. Oh man, we don't have a ton of leather. We might have to go do some hunting and stuff. I got some leather strips in there. Do I have any leather in here? Oh, I do. Good. Phew. Okay. And we can make one more there, too. Okay, so we're going to need... Those animals are making so much freaking noise, man. Okay, so for the katana... Uh, we need... Duct tape. Uh, in here. All right, so uh, we need to make the sturdy handle first. So I got some pipe bombs and, and some crossbow bolts ready for Horde 9. I'm going to try and see if I can make a few more of those, though. Okay, now we should be able to make the katana. There we go, 46 seconds, and we have ourselves a green katana, ladies and gentlemen. And we'll compare that to the machete and see, uh, you know, how, how it measures up. Okay, cool. I'm going to put this in here, and we're going to make some bullets. Yes, we are. Let's let's get some lead going. I already have some lead in here, but we're going to really start cranking the lead in here. Grab some coal there. I don't know how much we're going to need. Let's just start with that. Um, oh, yeah, we need to craft that, too. Let's get that smelting. Now, can we make buckshot? Yes, we can. Okay, so we don't need any kind of a, a mold for that. And those guys are just like going at it, aren't they? There it is. All right, look at this sucker. So it has um, kind of a similar attack animation as the machete. It seems like it's a little faster, though. Let's, let's compare. So here's the machete. And here's the katana. Nah, I think they're about the same. Okay, so let's compare stats. Um, they're they're close enough to each other that I don't think it's going to matter that this is yellow and that's green. Okay, so this does 28, 48 modded. This does three more melee 
five more power, less stamina cost. It Oh, it is a little bit faster. It's five more attacks per minute and a little more durable without a mod on it. So this is definitely a superior weapon all the way around. Nice. Okay. Let's take the ergonomic grip off of here. Now, I have on something else. I think it's the pitchfork. Uh, no. The shovel. Um, let's take this off of here and put it on here. Because what the temper blade's going to do is it's it's supposed to make, make it more durable. Incre increases block damage and lowers degradation by 15%. So... You know, that way it'll last you know, that much longer. Excellent, man. Okay, so we're going to retire the machete. It has served us well. Thank you, machete. We appreciate everything you've done for us. Um, I want to put this on my pick. All right, because that'll help with mining. And um, I'd like to go test this out, but probably not a wise idea to do that at night on Ravenhurst. Do you think? Um, okay, what I'm going to do is, I, I think what we're going to do, guys, is we're going to start leveling up sledgehammers. Because sledgehammers are going to be really important to this new horde-based design, you know, that we're going to do. And um, I'm going to try this one first. Um, but, you know, this one's going to use, oh, you know what we should do, actually? We should put this on the sledge we can put two things on here so the other thing we'll put on here is this okay so we're going to start using the sledge um, but we are going to have to be careful because it uses quite a bit of stamina or Looks like we can get off about five power attacks. It takes 35 stamina or so to do a power attack, it looks like. Um, so this one, of course, does way less damage, but it also uses way less stamina. So what we could do is, you know, use the iron one until our stamina gets really low and then, you know, switch over to this one to finish off. So I think that's what we're going to do. I'm going to retire the pitchfork. Um, we probably won't do much more with it. I have to say, though, that pitchfork was a really, really good early game weapon. And, you know, when we found it, I think it was even a blue one. So this is a really good early game weapon. Um, you know, if you guys are going to you know play this yourself and you come across one of those, um, definitely consider using it. This is gonna, something we're going to sell. So yeah, we're going to start the level sledgehammers. I don't think I have any points at all in, in blunt. Oh, no, I guess we do. We have four points in blunt, so good. Okay, well, we're, we're going to get started with that. And, you know, in time, we'll become a, uh, a, a sledgehammer maniac. Because it is my favorite melee weapon uh, in Seven Days to Die. Though uh, the knife has done nothing but impress me, you know, since we started this play. Because I never really used the knife very much before until now, so pretty pleased with how it has um, performed too okay you guys well I think I'm gonna let you go here and um, I'm going to you know it's day 42 so I'm gonna spend the day uh, or at least the first part of the day getting the old horde base ready to go so we can upgrade 40 blocks with the concrete that we currently have and then um, depending upon how our time goes if we have enough time uh, I might start the episode uh, or do another episode before Horde Night and we'll go maybe hit some POIs or something. Uh, if there isn't enough time, then the next episode we do will be Horde 42. And then hopefully after Horde 42, we'll, that'll be the last time we'll use that base and we'll be in the new base um, when 49 comes around. All right, guys, thanks for watching. I hope you enjoyed. And if you did, please hit that like button and subscribe to the channel. Leave a comment, share the video, and we'll catch you in the next episode. Goodbye.